New footage from Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes revealed at Comic-Con. In the past few hours, different news portals have revealed the description of a video footage from the movie Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which was shown at the CinemaCon. A scene in which much of the story of this film is shown, in 13 unpublished minutes of the story to be exact. This video shows Noah's motivations and how part of his family loses their lives, something that will completely change the future of this ape. So, in this video we will be talking about this revealed scene and what we could expect in this movie. And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. The news about these revealed scenes comes thanks to Variety magazine. The same magazine that is usually chosen by Warner to make their releases. Part of the news says the following. Disney premiered 13 action-packed minutes of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes at CinemaCon, ginning up excitement for its reboot of the science fiction franchise. Set generations after the events of 2017's War for the Planet of the Apes, the movie follows a young chimp named Noah, biblical allusions clearly intended, as he embarks on an epic journey after his village is torched by a band of gorillas, or so we think as we're no primatologists here. It also finds Noah, played by It, and to Leslie star Owen Teague, scaling the rocky face of a cliff on the prowl for eagle eggs. He's accompanied by two, less daring and much older members of his clan, Things don't go entirely according to plan, with Noah nearly falling hundreds of feet to the ground after the angry bird returns to his home. Vertigo sufferers be warned. There was also an extended look at a nighttime raid of the village, one with a high body count, as well as a glimpse of Kevin Durand as Proximus Caesar, an ambitious bonobo monarch who serves as the movie's main antagonist. Humans don't appear to play as prominent a role, having been pushed to the edges of civilization, although Noah does ride to one's rescue. A young woman is about to be pummeled to death by a ferocious ape when he appears on horseback, snatching her away from certain death at the last minute. Well, this means that three different scenes were shown at the CinemaCon. The first scene is one that depicts the ritual of the eagles, something we had already discussed on this channel. According to various leaks and news reports, Noah's clan is called the Eagle Clan, and they live in a place created with thatch and wood. The elders of this clan send the young ones to go through a type of initiation ritual, where they must find eggs or baby eagles to then help them. It is believed that all apes, when they reach a certain age, must tame an eagle, which is why they are called the Eagle Clan. Interestingly, this is part of what was shown at the CinemaCon, but it is also mentioned that this Eagle Clan is attacked by Proximus Caesar's group. This is something we had already mentioned in other videos, and it is the reason why Noah starts to fight against Proximus Caesar. However, the Hollywood Reporter released a publication about this same news, in which we can find much more information about what happened with the Eagle Clan. The Hollywood Reporter's article reads as follows. The apes live in a jungle community, swinging high above the trees. A group of three apes is seen stealing eggs from a bird's nest. They debate whether to take all three eggs, but agree to leave one behind. They soon discover another nest, but it's in a precarious area. The bird returns home and attacks, knocking one of the apes off a cliff. He falls but catches a nearby ledge. Later, a new scene shows the ape's jungle village up in flames. A gorilla mounts an attack and fights a chimpanzee with a taser. The chimp is burned and weakened, but survives. Rubble collapses around him. He finds the body of another ape and cries. He buries it with rocks. Father, I will find them. I will bring them home, the ape says. He rides away on a horse and follows footprints into a tunnel and through the jungle. Will Proximus Caesar end the life of Noah's father? On Joblo's website, we can find the description of this scene that reads as follows. 
We then see a scene in which guerrillas attack the village, killing some and enslaving others. Noah survives but finds that his father has been killed and his mother taken. He buries his father and promises to rescue his mother and the other villagers. During his journey, he finds a friend and mentor in Raqqa, played by Peter Macon, an orangutan, and saves the life of a human, played by Freya Allen from Gorillas. All in all, it looks pretty jaw-dropping and a worthy continuation of the modern trilogy. With this revelation, we already have confirmation of Noah's motivations. He is trying to rescue his mother and avenge his father. Now we understand why, although he is alone, he decides to confront the clan of Proximus Caesar. It's something very personal for him. However, there is something interesting in what was mentioned. Why on earth did Proximus Caesar kidnap Noah's mother? What interest does Proximus have with her? One of the things we have not yet theorized on this channel is the reason why Proximus Caesar will attack the Eagle Clan. We know that Proximus Caesar wants to conquer the world, but it doesn't make much sense for him to destroy a clan less evolved than his own. The logical thing would be for him to use them as slaves or to acquire their resources. The fact that Proximus Caesar destroys the Eagle Clan and abducts Noah's mother could indicate something else. In this channel, we have discussed the possibility that Noah is a descendant of Caesar, and it is possible that Proximus Caesar knows this. Perhaps Proximus knows that in the Eagle Clan, there is descendancy from the original Caesar, and one way to legitimize a lineage would be to unite families. Perhaps the reason Proximus Caesar kidnapped Noah's mother is because Noah's mother is a direct descendant of Caesar and Proximus wants to have her around to give legitimacy to his reign. The connection between Caesar and Noah is the mark Noah carries on his chest, and perhaps it is in Noah's destiny to know who Caesar was and what his purpose is in this whole story. The idea that Noah is fighting to rescue her mother is something I didn't expect but makes a lot of sense, as it is a very personal battle for him, and he will try to rescue his mother from the clutches of Proximus Caesar. In our next video, we will be discussing some interviews that were conducted with the actors, which reveal much more information about this movie. So if you want to know everything that will happen in the next Planet of the Apes movie, as well as other stories from this universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.